Hey guys, Monochrom here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. So, Pico Pulse, what are they? They are miniature spy capsules made by a company called Countycom. This is a company I have a great deal of experience with going back several years. If you're interested in learning more about Countycom, the company itself, check out the description box below. And as usual, specs in the description box below as well. So let's do a quick comparison. Now, this somewhat fancy looking spy capsule is about average size or right around medium size for a spy capsule. As you can see, the Pico Pulls are quite a bit smaller, shorter, and thinner in diameter. Let's compare one to a U.S. quarter. Mm -hmm. I'm holding both items exactly the same distance apart from the camera. So, there's the comparison with that. Let's take a closer look at these. So, two parts, top and bottom. The top screws into the bottom, or, well, technically the bottom screws into the top. You get a set of thin grooves all the way around over here. No grooves on top, USA and all the way on top a rather large lanyard hole with a good amount of material. Now this material is Delrin polymer plastic in black color. Currently Countycom only has two types of Pico pulls available for sale to the general public on their website, countycom.com. These, which are sold individually, once again, black Delrin polymer plastic. Although in the past, you could get this in a two-tone black on bottom, red on top, as well as clear polymer plastic. Those currently are not available on their website. You could also get these in metal, such as stainless steel, titanium, or brass. Currently, the brass version is the only one available, but the Delrin polymer plastic ones are the most popular. So you guys might be wondering, okay, that's a neat looking product. What do I do with it? Well, this is great for geocaching and it's also handy for other items and other things as well. For example, I know you guys aren't gonna believe me, but if you want to live a minimalist lifestyle, but you still want to have a little bit of emergency cash on you, just in case you lose your wallet or you get mugged, these are great for having a little bit of emergency cash on you. Now, right about now, you're probably thinking, is this an April Fool's joke? How the hell do you get money into one of these things? Well, let me show you guys.
and I'm going to use my multi-tool because I don't have nails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going to make sure not to cut away. Fold that down, fold that up. Those are the two final folds. As for the rest, you just keep folding it over, folding it over. And eventually, with each fold, reducing the size of the bill by half, ta-da! Okay, the $20 bill looks absolutely horrible. Even poor President Jackson is looking depressed. But hey, money is money. And in America, if you hand someone a $20 bill horribly wrinkled up, they will accept it. Ironically, that's not the case in foreign countries. For some odd reason, if you're in a foreign country and you're an American and you hand a cabbie something like this and you tell them, hey, it's an emergency, I need to get out of this neighborhood and to the airport, he might not accept it. They like clean, crisp money in foreign countries. I'm not even joking. I guess it's just a psychological thing. Thankfully in America, people will accept this, even though it looks horrible. It's still money. So yeah, you can definitely fit money into one of these tiny capsules. Absolutely. Now, this is great if you want to attach the Pico Pull to a small split ring up here and then attach that split ring with the Pico Pull on it onto your main key ring. Absolutely excellent way to carry a bit of emergency money. Now, not just on your key ring. Another great method, this thing is a little chubby, but still small enough and lightweight enough that you could take a bit of shoelace, put it through the lanyard hole, tie it off, or gutted paracord, tie it off, and now this becomes a zipper pull. Seriously, these work great as zipper pulls. Maybe just a little bit on the large side. Just a bit, but not so much that you can't use them as such. Fantastic zipper pulls. And, unlike an ordinary zipper pull, this one has money in it. There you go. Who doesn't like money? But what else can you carry with something like this attached to your key ring or attached to the main zipper of your favorite jacket or coat? What else can you put in here? Well, you can also put, for example, and I showed this in my previous video, you can put a spare rechargeable 10180 battery for your Mech Army keychain light. That's right. You want to live a minimalist lifestyle? Carry just one flashlight that does everything? This is a good choice. Problem is, if the battery dies and you don't have time to recharge it then and there, hey, Pull the battery out, put a fresh one in from your Pico Pull, then take the dead battery, place it into the Pico Pull, mm -hmm. screw that down, 
and now you're back in business. And the best part is that spare battery, which is now dead, is in here. Recharge it when you have time, but you've got a fresh 10180 in this one. That's what I use my Pico Pulls for. However, you can also put water purification tabs into one of these. Now, if you're out and about in the wilderness, camping, hiking, yeah, definitely have plenty of those around. But, just in case something happens, you can put a couple of water purification tabs or one water purification tab in here and then if something happens to your pack where the rest of your tabs were good news you can still purify water because you've got your emergency supply of water purification tabs in here now if you're older you will understand this you can put a couple of 81 milligram Bayer aspirin tablets or pills in here and have them with you in case you need to get to them. I'm not going to go into detail as to why. Some of you who are older, you will understand why Bayer makes and sells 81 milligram aspirin tablets so you can put those in here this will easily accommodate one maybe two now as well as prescription drugs if they're small enough to fit but if you're gonna do that make sure to carry a copy of your prescription with you in your pocket in case you get stopped by an officer otherwise you might get charged for being in possession of a controlled substance. There's a reason why prescription drugs require a prescription. Now, you might be thinking, well, I could probably fit a mint in there as well if it's small enough. Yes, you could, but you don't want to. We're going to tackle the two main disadvantages of Pico Pulls. Delrin Polymer Plastic. After a while, something in the manufacturing process or one of the chemicals used to make this gives off a smell. That smell, semi-rotten fish. Not joking, semi-rotten fish. You do not want to put an emergency mint in here and then toss that in your mouth. Um, who cares if your money smells? Who cares if a pill or a water purification tablet smells? Who cares if a battery smells? Mint, different story. So yeah, after a while, the inside of this will smell like semi-rotten fish. Second disadvantage, County Com sells these guys individually. I remember back when they were right around $5. Now the price has jumped to $7.50 each. Some people, that's going to be a deal breaker. I don't blame you. But if you don't mind paying $7.50 for one of these, like I've said, it can come in very, very handy. All right, guys, that's basically it. Pico Pulls. These are wonderful. I do recommend them, even with the idiotic price jump to $7.50, and even with the smell. Overall, absolutely wonderful. These are highly recommended by me. Just keep in mind those two disadvantages. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Please continue to take care. Stay safe.